Handling windows is one of the things that we do all the time, and so getting it right and getting it fast is important. If we want to call ourselves power users, we can't spend our time like fiddling with tiny corner hit areas of windows or like reaching all the way to title bars, like the common people. When I, a power user, handle windows, I have more or less two approaches. One is my app called Moves. It gives me a two keyboard shortcuts to hold. And when I do, moving the mouse will either move or resize the window currently on the mouse. Like this. Command Shift will move. Holding Option Shift will resize. Of course, these are configurable. But this is just my preference. But that's for fiddling. That's for the windows that you want to be just right. You don't want them to take up the whole screen, half the screen, anything like that. This is like Obsidian, Safari, plain text like this, maybe even Finder. Stuff that should like sort of depends on the context and the content. So, you know, fiddling. That's the one approach. The other is like strict size and position presets. So there's like full screen, left half, right half, left two thirds. And this is where my other app joins the body. It's called Leader Key. And it allows you to run commands by stringing together key, single key combos, like in a fighting game. So for example, I can hit both my commands at once and then RP for Raycast Party or BS for Bush, I mean browsers, Safari, or even EE to turn off my key light. What's new in moves is that I've added support for URL schemes. So that means I can use leader key to trigger moves to move windows into like these presets. For example, uh, leader key, when I say leader key, I mean both commands, but that's just how I configured it. You can make it whatever you want, but leader key, W, L is gonna be right half, W, H is gonna be left half, W, F is full screen, W, S is that special case for when I'm recording, but even W, uppercase C is gonna center it, and W uppercase H is going to resize it, but be full screen, but to only be full screen <laughs> height. You can really, like you can set it up however you want. The, the, the point is that it's highly configurable and they work together now. By the way, both of these apps are free and open source. I'm uh, Mikkel. I love to build things. And sometimes it's small, dinky Mac apps like this one. Other times it's like big very serious platforms and all of that I like to share on this uh, channel. You should subscribe. And after you've done so, uh, let's see some more leader key updates that make this setup even sweeter. Leader key has a sticky mode now, meaning that if you hold an up a modifier when triggering actions, leader key will stay around. So you can run multiple actions in a row, like combos of combos. <laughs> So leader key, W, I hold option, L, H, L, H, full screen. <laughs> Recording, L, H, okay, C. No one's gonna catch your windows when they fly around like that. Another thing uh, we've added is the option to choose which screen to uh, for leader key to appear on. And a third thing is that there's a new cheater theme that makes leader key just always be the cheat sheet. And speaking of, you can now pick icons for uh, groups and apps inside your config uh, editor, make it look nice like this. And even more so, it's gonna uh, add fab icons. Fab icon, fab, 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 fab icons for websites and of course icons for apps. Ooh, and I forgot one more thing for the win window handling. We also have a uh, direct shortcuts for groups. So if you want to trigger leader key and go directly into a group, say, for example, my W group for window handling, you can uh, add a another custom global shortcut. So for example, I can hit a uh, hyper key W to go directly into window, hold my sticky key, and then just go completely nuts. Like no one's gonna catch my windows when they fly around like this. <laughs> Did I not say power users? If you want to know how to set this up, there are readmes in the on GitHub on both projects. They are, as I said, free and open source. And so is my uh, dot .files as well. So you can see how I've set up my things here and get inspiration for how to set up your own. If you like stuff like this, power user Mac stuff, building products on the internet, trying to make money, 
getting side projects to work, stick around. <laughs>